Alright, so this is going to be episode 5 of the Twilight Forest Adventures. So, what I did was I I just went, I'm going to do iron, like regular iron, because I don't really have a choice. I have a lot of iron, so there's no hurt. And I started making the iron one ingots. See, as you can tell, I've been using gold nuggets. And I used all the live root and used some iron. So that's that's all it can it consists of is you just put one gold ink nugget, one iron, and then one live root, and then it makes you just use use all of them. And I got eight total, and then throw them in here, and it turned into sixteen total. I made a pickaxe, a sword, and then on and then I have eleven left. So I think and yeah, so the weapons that you forge yourself in this game in the mod automatically come with enchantments but if you loot them usually they won't so it's kinda cool that they added in like by creating your own weapons I don't know I, it, it's just cooler that you can get enchantments from that I don't have purple so let me get that so I need to get food um, and I'm just gonna keep keep walking in this direction and w just one direction, so that, wow, one direction. But yeah, I'm just gonna walk one way so that I can find out everything that's down there. And hopefully, there's a boss, or not a boss, but some sort of enemy to fight that will make the video interesting. So, what's up here though? Is this a dark forest? Because I don't care about them. And they scare me a lot, so I don't want to go in one. Yeah, look at this rendering. I'm basically cheating. I can see everything underground. Yep, I saw a cave right there. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a big dark forest. It's huge. It, it It's like, so far it's already big. So, uh, if I go in there, I'm risking my life. And I'm risking my soul. Because it's just really scary to go in there. I don't want to go in there. Oh, look. There's two. Do you see them on the, on the corner of the screen up there? Giving you guys a better view. Yeah, see, they're 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 waiting for me. I don't want to go in there. I hate the dark forest. Like, I know when I play mo like uh, with other people, they always play on brightness like all the way up because it's easy to see. But like I already said, I hate doing that, so I don't do that. I play it on moody, but right now I'm playing it on like 30% so that it might be easier for you guys to see. So it's not, it's still not as dark, but look, I'm seeing mobs at the ground. It's still not that dark, but, um, I mean, it's still scary. They come out of nowhere and start fighting you, and there's like wolves that spawn, and, okay, I'm gonna go over here where I see something spawning. There's like wolves that spawn, and then a giant spy king spiders. They're really creepy. They're not that hard to fight because they're like a normal mob. Like you hit them and they bounce back and you can just keep hitting them and then they eventually die. Like you just, that's all you do is you hit them and they die. That's how it is when fighting those bi like creepy mobs. It's just that they're scary and that's that's the characteristic they have that will make me not want to go there and fight them. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it. I just try to avoid Dark Force at all, like, it's just, it's not that, there's nothing to loot there, there's nothing significant about it at all, there's just a specific boss that could spawn there, that's it, I hate that boss too, so really I don't care about that place at all, and, uh, yeah, also you can use those shortcuts to get from one place to another, because it's either walk around, walk above, or walk through, Oh great! See, look, I I like I think I dug like directly above it. I'm not sure. So yeah, that's a new mob right there. As you can tell, it's a it's a tiny spider. And since I am using low or not really powerful armor, I don't want to just fall down there and fight them, which I could if I had better armor. Could go in balls out and just take them all on, but I'm not about that life. Let me see what's down here. Alright. I always have to be really safe when going in here. Because when you fall, it's you almost want to pee your pants. It's so bad. Because you fall and it's pitch black down there. Because the glowstone only spawns at the top 
of the thing, of the huge dome. So really there's no light. And mobs are gonna keep spawning because it's dark. And you have to light your way through and run at the same look at this thing. He thinks he can get me. This one's not that scary. There's like nothing here. I, but yeah, if I played on a, a higher brightness, it would be no problem. I would be like, really? What do these guys want? But since I'm playing darkness, oh, sh oh. See, that scared me. So if I'm playing dark, like, it's just creepy. And those mobs always die in, like, one hit, so. Oh, shoot. I, I, I gotta show you guys what that item's all about. Let me also mine this. I don't need, I'm, I guess I'm kind of wasting my time mining the iron. I don't need it that much. But once I was extremely lucky, like, you see how these things spawn in threes, in spires, stalag, whatever you want to call them. Like, once I hit a cave, and it had, like, a total of, like, 30 diamond. It was amazing. It was, there was so many spires of just diamond. So I was rich. That was basically when I beat the game, because I killed, like, six hydras and had basically everything like I did the quest ram I oh yes live root I did the basically everything so I was like I decided to quit I didn't want to keep playing on that playthrough there's no point I discovered every biome too I discovered everything I was the boss just kidding I'm not I wasn't even it's not even that good I right, let me God, I thought that was a leech or something. I saw like I want to put light over there. Just make it a little easier for me. It's not even that dark. This is funny. Oh, another one. And ink sacks. Yeah, this mob or mod, I mean, does in the water. Um, squid never spawns, so you have to get ink sacks either by. Oh, look, it was crying. It's crying. Look at it. But you either get ink sacks by chests or going back to the real world to kill a squid. And I don't care about the real world. Whoa, this is a lot of iron. So I usually just actually just search chests. Because while you, anything you basically do in this mod, if you want to like go just, just get a regular resource like iron, you might run into a different place that you've never been yet. And there's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff there, like new bosses maybe and new structures like this area I'm in so really y everywhere you go you have a chance of getting a whole bunch of loot all right that's also all right here's transformation powder um, I might use it I don't know I'm gonna put my trash in there that's all I need skip all that um yeah, you gotta make sure you don't skip the chest sometimes you do yes we got some flint all right I don't think there's anything down here, but I'm gonna check anyways. Kill these. I just killed them with a pickaxe. But yeah, they die in one hit, like I already showed you and told you. How much iron do I have? Only 18, really. It seems like I've I've scavenged a lot more iron than that. Cause there's a huge amount of iron here, but I wish it was diamond. I mean, you could just replace with diamond, and you know. It wouldn't really matter. Three diamonds is always worth more than 64 iron, I would say. I'm w I'm wondering what these spiders are doing, because I know I saw him fall, and I'm like, yeah, he's going to attack me. The spider didn't even attack me, so I just beat it up. All right. You screwed. I don't need all this ore, whatever. Um, why is there all this stuff going on? Yeah, but this is also a smaller... Um, type of this structure there's a huge one I think there's only two sizes there's one that's like this which is the tiny one and this is actually really small but it's still considered like the smaller um I don't know what to call it I call it an ant hill but this I know there's an official name for it I don't know what it is and then there's obviously bigger and way more deadly uh ant hills let's call it all right, let's let's get up here. And this one didn't even have like that many mobs, because sometimes they spawn bugs, which I I haven't shown you guys yet, because I'm gonna I haven't encountered any yet. But some of them will have really the bugs are extremely deadly, like they're huge, giant size beetles. 
and fire beetle like there's like a fire beetle and then there's a beetle that will pick you up and 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 it actually controls you after it picks you up it controls like you can't move you have to kill it to be able to move again and then there's one that shoots like spitballs at you i call it an artillery bug just cuz i always have and then there's one that uh i think there's one other i don't know i don't think there is actually and then there's also a different type of slime, but that doesn't spawn in ant hills. That spawns in the labyrinth, which I'm not looking forward to. But I have to search it. All right, let me just see if there's anything good in here. I'm going to see. I want to at least search one, see if I get good. It's kind of like a lottery. It's not really. You don't spend money at all. It doesn't have anything to do with money, it's just like, it has to do with time. You're wasting your time. Or you're not wasting your time, it's one or the other. I hope I'm not. This is usually how I clear them. I go down here like this. So far it looks, looks pretty empty. It's, what it says on the wiki is there's either... A chest or no it doesn't really say this on the wiki but um all that I've ever found was either a chest or a cave let's hope there was a chest yes okay now we gotta find out if it's good let's go all right so food it doesn't it doesn't hurt fish food a few chicken that doesn't hurt I mean that that's worth it if there's if there was always a chest like that one in these then I would probably always loot them because that doesn't hurt at all that helps to get some food because in this mod I'm like a nature freak and I don't like killing the animals of this place besides chicken I hate chicken oh it dropped an egg die you oh my that's why I hate killing chicken I usually just shoot them yeah alright let me go back home so I didn't really find anything. I guess this is a boring episode too, because still there was like nothing that's interesting. Um, it's still like I still progressed pretty well actually. I mean, look at what I got: 47 iron. Oh yeah, alright. So let me show you guys what these do though. Cause, really? Because these are new items. So what you do is you just point at the ground like that, and there you go. You have to hold it down. And it doesn't always pull something out of the ground like this. It basically goes through the line that you're pointing in and pulls out a resource, like an ore vein. And there's a chance of every resource. I think there, I'm pretty sure there's. Oh yes, live root. But there's even a chance of like emerald. I'm pretty sure. I've gotten a lot of diamond before. I've gotten a ore vein of seven diamond, and that's that's rare. That's extremely rare to get in regular minecraft so to get it with this item too it makes it even i guess it's it's a little easier because you're just pointing at the ground and pulling like it's just random chance but yeah i'm it's it's annoying sometimes you can't get anything i don't really like this item it, it pisses me off because of this i'm not right, gold really I don't have time for gold and oh my god, I hate lapis. It's so useless. Whatever. Let's let's get the live root. Really, only five. You could have given me at least eight. Like that would have been a little better. I'll get the ore. All right, so um, what's over here though? All right, let's. Uh, so now I think I have over sixty-four iron that I've mined in this expedition. Wait, this is only two here. I guess not then. Because I don't get any more. I don't even care about gold or lapis so whatever. Alright, so hold on. Alright, so let's smelt some more of this. I need a lot more coal in there. I only have three coal. Alright, so I'll split it up. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, I should get a food. Ch I'll put food in the in the wood chest. All right, I got a lot more live root. Thirteen this time. I'll be able to make a full ironwood set now. Whenever I get the chance. Um, cobble. Put some there. All right, so I'm gonna put things like string, flint, uh, 
Oh my god, run flesh. It's pretty useless. Um, where's my... Alright. So now I have four total. Plus the ink sacks. So if I make that, I'll get black. So that's cool. Um, let me throw this egg. It's not... Yep, it didn't give me a chicken. I don't know if there's a specific way you're supposed to throw the egg or something, but I really don't know how to do it to where you get the chicken. I'm pretty sure it's just a really small chance that you get the chicken to spawn. It's spider eye, I, all that kind of stuff will go in there. I don't know why I have this class in my inventory, but let's put it away. Yeah, wheat. Oh my, I don't know how to farm. I don't even know how to farm in this game, so let's throw it away. I hate farming in most games. I don't do it. I cut trees and mine. Those are my favorites. All right, so I kind of searched that direction. I kind of searched that direction, and a little bit that direction. That's where I came from down there. But yeah, either way, I didn't search that much. I can go in a straight line forever that way and see what I get. But yeah, so um, I think that might this that's gonna be the end of this episode. Progressed pretty well. Still nothing interesting. I found a new place though that is an exclusive in this mod. So oh look, it's a bird. I want like as many birds as I can get around my house. That'd be so cool. Go on the roof. Yes. Now stay there. That'd be so cool if I had like five birds up there. But yeah, so that'll be the end of this episode. And I hope you guys liked it. It's kind of boring, I know. But uh, it'll get interesting soon because this is the start still. It'll be the start for a while. But after I get enough armor and weapons, I'll be able to go in there and hopefully not die. It'll just be boring because I hate that place. It'll be intense like crazy, but... It's like the scary maze game in a way, because they sneak up on you. And, yeah, so, for now, I'll cut the video here. And like it if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.